been saved. Um, and that's that's the only thing we have to boast about is that we're God's children, that He loves us. So the song's called Boasting. Let's do it.
and I rode the pine a lot. I sat at the bench. I probably I felt like I didn't need to be there for a while, and I struggled with it. But God just kind of used that to show me, hey, you're not here to play. You're here to talk with these guys. And just an amazing opportunity. Like, one of my friends that was in high school, they never would have thought this guy, okay? He's, he's the party guy. He's got his girlfriend. He's got his drinking. And, man, he was going to college, and God has done a work in him radically. Where it's intense. And another friend has rededicated his life to Christ. Like, I didn't see much fruit in high school, but built relationships and prayed and talked with these guys and the conversation turned to Christ and I think if I'd have been focused more on the game uh, it would have been about me a lot but I, I saw through that that the purpose for me being on that baseball team was not to play baseball it was to glorify God. share his love with me. Um, I didn't grow up in a Christian so, I guess when I was in high school, junior high, high school age, I, um, as Greg said, I was a very proud person. And the fact that um, I showed my family how selfless I was and how Christian I was and how good of a person I was. Um, and I prided myself in being humble, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and so, a lot of the things I did um, weren't for God's glory my own, whether it was music, whether it was uh, teaching a lesson, whether I mean, anything, you name it. Um, and I wanted to be glorified. And I wanted people to see me. And the fact that I've done this, this, and this, or have done this, this, and this. Um, and so, towards my family, especially, I was a very proud person. Um, God broke me that when I was about 17. And, um, you know, God showed me my pride and lack of love for them was the reason our relationships were so broken. Part of the reason our relationships were so broken. Um, so I had to humble myself um, and to my parents and, and admit I've been wrong um, because I blamed them for a lot of things for the divorce, for that getting remarried, for two stepbrothers that could stand for the first three years of marriage, just things like that. Um, but like I said, in high school especially, I wanted everybody to see me and how great I was. Um, so God radically changed my heart, and it's still changing my heart in some areas. And I want, I want to glorify Him. I don't want um, anything that I do to be about me. Um, I want to be more, make, be made more like Christ every day. Well, I did grow up in a Christian home, um, but I did have a dad who left. girl and people looked up to me and as a mentor um, but I actually got saved about a year and a half ago and um, I thought it was but um, my heart wasn't in it it was all about belief but not faith where I knew the right answers and I knew what I should do but I didn't surrender to God. And uh, the moment I did sur surrender, fully surrender, I knew that um, at that point, that was when I was saved. Um, and I felt like a, a new person, like I was like God's daughter. So, And then after that, um, you know, it's, it's easy to go back um, to what I was like before. Um, be good, but you know, just not in God's will and not doing the right thing. But I like the line in the song, um, What's my life if it's not praising you? Another dollar in my bank account, a vain, a vain pursuit. You know, it's really easy for me to um, still know what the right thing is in my heart, but then get distracted by stuff or um, people. So, um, to um, live, you know, go through a day where I boast in myself and not in God. But, um, <coughs> it's a 
important to remember that um, we're all broken vessels, and no matter how good you think you are, you're really not. And <laughs> God can still pick up the pieces and use you as a as an example of His glory if you don't get distracted and if you just seek Him first. All right, so since I've been most time. music especially <coughs> and to, to reflect his glory with whatever I do um, to reflect it back to him essentially um, and say it's not mine this is something you've given me praise you to God for it yeah. and we, we have not arrived at the Beatles um, you're looking at like that, that's our prayer. We, we want to live a life that boasts about 